what is going on guys welcome back to the channel back with another video for you guys this time it's a garage type of video no riding I'm still trying to heal up from all my injuries my thumb isn't fully healed same thing with my hip and all my road rash so I'm trying to give it some time I did a couple rides for you guys one on the R1M a few on the H2 kind of just you know get a little riding in I, I missed it a lot but for now I'm just still gonna rest heal up until I can go back to riding but for today's video it's been a very requested video that a lot of, a lot of you guys uh, were asking for and it's part two for my moto vlogging helmet setup in the first video make sure you check that out if you haven't yet I talked about pretty much how I set like the GoPro settings to film with such like good quality but at the same time with uh, allowing the battery to last and the same thing with not without filling out your SD card like really quickly so if you haven't checked that video out make sure to check it out but for the purpose of this video I'm actually gonna be setting up my AGV helmet for you guys I did a reveal video for this helmet it's the AGV Pista double R iridium edition it's like a special edition one uh, I thought it was really cool I did a poll and you guys voted for this helmet over the scorpion exo air carbon something like that and uh, this helmet won so I, de I decided to full send it by this helmet I've heard that it's gonna be allowed so I don't know how it's gonna be filming wise uh, because you know the mic is gonna go like inside the helmet and it might get loud so we'll see you guys will find out when I go on a ride with the setup but for now I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna take you guys over every single step of pretty much how to set up a motor vlogging setup with your helmet and with all the equipment that you need and I'm gonna list in the description all the links to the equipment uh, also I use chin mounts if you guys know like not too long ago I about two months ago now I crashed the v4 and I was honestly super shook and super glad that the mount itself which is right here chin mounts it literally stayed onto the helmet so like it didn't detach from the helmet which is pretty insane if you guys haven't seen the crash go check it out It's a pretty intense crash they still have a broken finger and hip from that crash but and the helmet was also destroyed but the chin mount actually stayed in its position and that day I was like this is, there's no point of trying any other product clearly that product worked very very well if it survived that crash because if it survived the crash there's no way it's gonna fly off on the freeway as long as it's set it up right so I'm gonna show you how to set it up right I'm gonna show you take you through all the steps and yeah this will be fun all right so this is the helmet so we need to open up the chin mount I have a link in the description and also if you use code um K then you're gonna get 10% off so saves you like a few dollars why not so this is the chin mount as you guys can see it's like super compact way better I used to use the arm and you have to buy like these from I don't know Amazon eBay wherever because GoPro doesn't sell the entire arm it sells like a few attachments and I definitely noticed that like this one shakes more on the freeway and all that. I have this uh, the GoPro here a seven black, which is has the hypers or what is it like so the super smooth or whatever uh, stabilization, which prevents that. But I still see that it's not like kind of perfect still, and it looks ugly. So this is very compact, very cool, and pretty easy to install to be honest. So first things first, it's kind of like set it up it's gonna go right here and then you're gonna need an attachment which usually comes with GoPro or if it doesn't then you can either buy it from chin mounts uh, or you can buy it I believe from like GoPro itself they sell like the longer arms and I trust GoPro just because it's made by GoPro so I'm pretty sure it's like really high quality so we're gonna do so you're gonna slide it in a tab and you slide it in and now you have this which is where your camera is gonna mount to now let's talk about the camera so I have this case which is also linked in the description and you're gonna need a GoPro like a mic adapter it's stupid the GoPro doesn't have like a microphone jack so you're gonna need this adapter and the nice thing about this case is that it has room for both so you don't have to like glue it to the side of the helmet like what most people do or double side tape stuff like that so it's all in one case 
you can see that it's wired right here then it goes in right here and this is the adapter so the camera is in here case mic adapter and then you have this little attachment that you can buy from GoPro with the chin mount and then it's just gonna slide in just like that and you pretty much already have your setup you see how like it's very compact very small easy to use so usually with your little arm you get this from GoPro but I like to use an actual like bolt pretty much it's like a hex bolt and you just it goes in and then let me use my tool so I can screw it in because when I screw it in I can actually make it tighter so the angle sometimes with the wind uh, like your GoPro could get pushed a little bit to the back which is why I like to use this plus it looks cleaner it's more sleek so tighten it down but before you fully tighten it down make sure get your helmet and make sure that the angle is actually good so right now if you guys see this is a little too angled so I'm gonna kind of like open it up a little bit like that and then I'm gonna have it like this which this is pretty good because my face actually a little bit more to the back you want it to be kind of like straight up when the helmet is flat so here's the helmet it's pretty flat currently you see how the camera is kind of like pointing straight up that's how I like it it's like a good uh, view where you can see the bike and you can also see like the view in front of me and when you tuck you see more of just the bike pretty much so this is how I like it so I'm gonna hold it at that position and tighten it Make sure you hold it because when you tighten it, it's gonna pretty much rotate. You don't tighten it too much so that because this is all plastic and you do not want it to snap. Like I can press on it with a lot of force and it'll wiggle, but it won't actually move. So that's good enough. Next step, let's do one last test. Make sure it's the right angle. That's perfect. So next step is gonna you're gonna get the alcohol wipe that you are gonna be getting with your chin mount and you are going to be cleaning the surface where you're gonna stick that chin mount. Make sure it's all good, clean. Technically you're supposed to let it like sit and dry because if you like wipe it down with something you might get some particles and that will pretty much not allow it to stick as well but honestly the glue is so strong and with a little bit of heat which is I'm gonna show you right now it's gonna stick like really well but let's put the helmet away for a sec let it dry out last step you're gonna peel this off 3m tape which is super strong and I'm gonna be using a heat gun on a low setting that was my phone if you don't have a heat gun you can actually use a hairdryer this is my first time actually using a heat gun that's why I'm doing it on low setting you don't need that much heat just heat up the glue a little bit and that should be enough since this is a heat gun and now the glue is all hot and sticky and this is the alcohol is all dried out you just have to align it so part of me this is not the best angle but I'm gonna try my best to have it like crazy well aligned so if you guys notice I slightly put it onto there I didn't press it yet making sure that it's perfectly aligned it looks really good to me and then press and hold it for a few seconds uh, chin mounts tell you to leave it I believe for 24 hours if I'm not wrong 12 hours so just keep it for a long time just so that like the glue actually settles in and it sticks so preferably don't go riding right after you set this up uh, that's what I'm gonna do I mean I'm not gonna be riding anytime soon but I'm just gonna have it sit right here and now let me guys show you the mic real quick so this mic is called giant squid and you can actually get it from the links that I left in the description as well I left everything as I said you're definitely gonna need to be putting a wind muff on it which comes with the mic but what I do to get extra quality what I like to do to have like extra good sound quality is actually use two of those so I'm gonna use this one which came with the mic another good brand is purple panda 
Uh, I personally use this one just because, I don't know, I've, it's the first like one I tried using and it does the job, but I've heard a lot of good things about Purple Panda. I actually got one and tested it, but I never wanted to switch, so I'm using the Giant Squid. And then I'm actually gonna put this Death Cat on top of this like that and that will make it like extra extra wind resistant the next step would be to open up your visor also I don't know if you guys noticed but the visor is kind of in the way or the GoPro is kind of in the way try to like avoid that I'm gonna have to adjust the angle slightly so the visor can close and open without hitting the GoPro so again like it's always it's like these fine adjustments that you're gonna need to do based on your helmet this is the helmet because you already have the mic uh, adapter now you can just plug this mic directly onto that adapter so right here it's gonna go to the side and then you're gonna take this tuck it somewhere so you're gonna remove the cheek pad you have to kind of it's just like little buttons that you click out it doesn't need too much force you guys can hear them and I'm just gonna stuff all of this cable in there because it's way too much cable and you don't need that much. The windmuff came out, I'm gonna redo that. I'm just trying to show you guys the setup. So stuff all the cables in there and you want your mic to just stick out of the cheek pad just slightly. I don't know how well you guys can see, but you can see the mic is right here. This is right now not the cleanest job. I'm trying to just like speed through it just to show you guys what to do. But yeah, you want to like pretty much stuff all this wiring like around your pads right here and then just have like the actual mic barely peek out from the cheek pad. And if you're getting too much wind noise, then you can always push it further back into the cheek pad where like it's kind of flush with it. And when you put the wind muff and the dead cat, which is also acts like a, as a wind muff, then your helmet is going to be like extremely silent. There's going to be minimal wind noise and it's gonna sound great so yeah that is pretty much it it's not the cleanest right now i have to like kind of slowly like tuck it everything in and clean it up but pretty much this is what it's gonna look like if you ask me this looks way cleaner than like having arms and all that stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this was informative a lot of you guys were asking about it and uh yeah, it took me a while to make this video because I had to wait for all the parts, the chin mount, the, the helmet itself. It took a while to get here, but we finally got it done. If you guys liked the video, please like, support, subscribe, whatever you can do to support the channel. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Also, as I said, make sure to check out the links in the description because you're gonna, you can get any of the stuff that I just talked about and buy your entire setup from those links. And also check out chin mounts. They have mounts for pretty much every single helmet and you guys saw how like they literally survived a crash, a high side where I like tumbled for like at least about like what, 50, 100 feet. Like I slid a lot and the helmet was destroyed but the chin mount lasted. So like I really trust that company and uh, you can use my code AMK and get 10% off as well. So that's great and yeah finally made this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel you guys have been great i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out